team um, that you played with that you kind of keep in touch with? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's gonna be a fun trip back to New Jersey. Um, something I've been looking forward to for a while. Um, I know a couple guys on the team. Um, a lot of them are gone now that I was close with, um, either graduated or transferred out. Um, so I, I've, I've been in touch with those guys that um, you know we're gonna see Friday, and uh, you know been talking a little trash with them. Um, but you know I'm looking forward to getting out there and uh, the challenge of the game this Friday. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, honestly, the mentality hasn't changed. Um, you know, we want to go one and zero every week. Um, we enjoy, you know, enjoy the win for 24 hours, um, and then move on to the next game, the next challenge. Um, so it hasn't, it hasn't changed much. Um, you know, can ask all the other guys. Um, you know, we just want to go one and zero every week. Um, that, that's a goal, and uh, you know, really, really excited for this challenge this Friday. With a short week, how important is rest and recovery, and making yeah. sure you're getting your, I mean. Talk to Chris, talk to Casey. They both said they were feeling a little extra sore because yeah. the schedule's moved up. How important is that? Yeah, it's it's super important. Um, you know, Coach Mick has done a great job emphasizing, um, you know, how important it is to get in the training room, um, to get treatment, do any extra stuff. You know, if you're if you're not studying for school or uh, for for the game, you know, get in the treatment room, get in the pools, do all the extra stuff you can. Um, so it, it's super important. Um, you know, guys, guys are sore, but you know, everyone else is sore. That's playing right now. So um, we just got to deal with it, and uh, you know, um, get as much treatment as we can, and uh, get ready for the game Friday. You were out there in 2020, right, for that, that game? Yes, yeah. How strange was that atmosphere mm -hmm. that night? Yeah, it, it was different. Um, you know, that was a COVID year. Um, so when we were playing in, like, the middle of December um, with the the whole schedule changing and everything. Um, so there, there were still, you know, there were more guys then that I knew. Um, but it, it was it was different. Um, you know, it was cold. And, uh, you know, it was a very physical football game. So, you know, um, Coach Coach Mick has done a great job emphasizing, you know, the most physical team is going to win this game Friday. Um, so that's something we really, really want to focus on this week is just, just being physical and uh, everything we do and being fast in everything we do. Do you, do you, as captain, do you see the physicality quotient has changed in the last three weeks? And in what ways? Yeah, um, you know, in my opinion, I think we've been a physical football team this whole year. Um, so, um, you know, there's – there's always, you know, there's always times we can improve on being more physical in everything we do, being violent in everything we do. Um, so I, I think we've, you know, each week we've gotten better. We've been more physical. You know, we've played faster um, and played with more violence each week. So we just got to keep stacking, stacking those days and stacking those weeks um, to be to be better in everything we do every week. Travis, is Mickey and, and, and Whipple, are they kind of emphasizing blocking more of the tight ends? I mean, you saw Chancellor's huge block, and you had a few as well. Is yeah. that something they're kind of putting a lot of emphasis on? Yeah, you know, Brew is, you know, he's kind of gone, uh, he's kind of gone crazy on Twitter with everyone recording all his videos from last year and this year of him destroying guys on the on the perimeter on those wine blocks. Um, but, you know, you know, Brew's a great player. Um, you know, we're tight ends. We got to block in. You know, we gotta, that's something unique about being a tight end is we got to know the whole offense. Um, you know, we got to know all the run plays, know all, know all the uh, pass plays as well. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that's something they're emphasizing more. Um, you know, we're, we're, we are we got to block when it's time to run, and then we got to run routes and, you know, catch balls um, when it's time to, time to uh, throw the ball. Travis, there was so much optimism about the – the defense, even back in fall camp, you saw those guys all off season. Was mm -hmm. that more on Saturday? What you guys had kind of seen before the season started? Yeah, you know, we go back and forth and practice with the defense, always trash talking and stuff. You know, I thought I thought those guys played a great game. Um, you know, I'm those are my brothers. Um, I got their back. You know, and um, obviously, you know, we as a team haven't played up to the standard in the past couple weeks. Um, but you know, I thought they stepped up and they played really well. Um, so I'm super happy, happy for those guys. We just got to keep building um, both on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball each week. Travis, what does it do for the psyche of this team to finally win one of those close games, mm -hmm. given the way things have gone in the past two seasons for you guys? Yeah, it, it's huge. Um, you know, now that we, you know, finished a close game, guys can see that it can be done. Um, so that definitely gives us confidence. Um, and, you know, we understand that, you know, we've done it once now, so now we need to do it for every game. Um, you know, in situations that the, that arise um, where we have to finish football games. So um, definitely, definitely a confidence builder. What was that moment like in the locker room after the game when Trev came in and became the game ball? Yeah, it, it was awesome. You know, I, I love Coach Mickey. Um, you know, the players love him. 
love everything about them. Um, so it was awesome. Um, we just got to get them, uh, get them a couple more wins now. So. Anything else? What have you seen from Casey in terms of just uh, playing through injuries? Because I don't know a lot of players do that. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from him at that spot? Yeah, um, you know, Casey, you know, not only Casey, there's multiple other guys on the team, like you said, are playing through injuries. Um, you know, we're a tough football team. We're a tough and confident football team. Um, you know, we, we got some really hard nosed guys, um, you know, that, you know, really push through injuries and, you know, going back to treatments, that's just something that we really have to emphasize, not only this week, but throughout the whole season, it's just taking care of our bodies. And that's, that's a big thing of, you know, playing college football. Every team deals with that. So, um, but yeah, we get, we got some tough dudes on this team. What are the challenges of Friday night? And do you like playing on Friday night? Yeah, it's it's different. Um, obviously, we're short a day. Um, I I don't care when we play. Um, I just want to play football, and um, doesn't matter the day, the time, or um, you know where we're at. Um, you know wherever we're playing, it's it's a challenge, and um, we're ready to attack the, uh, the challenge. What are some of the biggest cultural differences? Just living life out there versus here. Yeah, it's it's totally different. Um, you know, it's it's. You know, fast paced, um, a lot of people, very diverse. Um, the food is awesome out there. If you guys are going out there, make sure you get a chance to uh, get out to the pizza spot. The slices are like this big. You eat two of them and you're full. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's very different. Um, I, I love the Midwest. Um, I enjoyed my time out on the East Coast, but glad to be back in the Midwest. Glad to be on the uh, Nebraska football team.